Hello and uh, welcome to the 47th vlog here on my channel on YouTube. Um, sorry for the delay, I was a bit preoccupied. Uh, politics in Germany are quite nasty in the moment. We have a uh, serious infestation of uh, right-wing extremists and white supremacists in the eastern states and uh, I was kind of preoccupied and didn't feel uh, like I wanted to record a video. Um, but um, as bad as it is, uh, it shouldn't, shouldn't stop uh, me from creating. So I'm doing today what I wanted to do for quite a while, and that is a uh, what's on my PC. Rather than doing what's on my uh, Android phone, um, I thought it might kind of be interesting to see what I do have on my PC and what I use um, for my daily work. The PC that I'm going to introduce today is my, my main Windows uh, PC. I do have a Unix system, a FreeBSD system where I do development on, but uh, for today I uh, will stick uh, to the Windows world. For everything that's uh, even remotely related to, to Office work, I use, uh, like the name implies, Microsoft Office. Uh, we do have a Office 365 family subscription um, and uh, I use all, all of its components. I've been in the corporate world for more than 30 years and Outlook is the de facto standard for personal information management. Um, it is uh, yeah, it is the go-to tool for anything uh, that has to do with organization. Um, Excel, Word, PowerPoint, I guess they are no-brainers. Um, there was a quick or very interesting video, not quick, they're never quick, um, a very interesting video from Peter McKinnon on on the business aspect of being a photographer, which kind of applies to pretty much anybody doing uh, freelance consultancy. Um, I, I've linked the, the video down below. Um, it's definitely worth watching, but everything he describes you can do with the office suite, and especially with Excel, doing all your calculations, uh, writing builds, whatnot. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm completely hooked on that platform. Um, and I don't think that there is any contender, real contender out there. There is, however, one, one more thing on, on my uh, office uh, um, bar for office uh, thing, and that's Trello. A lot of people use Trello. I think Trello is a rather poor excuse for a Kanban board, uh, and an even worse excuse for a project management system. There are many, many, many more better systems out there. But most of my clients use Trello, so I have to uh, use Trello too. But uh, yeah, it is usable, but no, that's not a tool that I would recommend if you're in any way serious on either agile development using Kanban boards. Um, there are much better out there, or if you do project management, then you want to have at least certain dependencies between actions, and they're all much better out there. Um, it doesn't have to be MS Project, but uh, they are very good self-hosted open source alternatives um, that allow you to do, like I said, your, your daily stand-ups and such. Apart from using the Microsoft suite of things, I'm also a big Google fanboy, so in my Explore tab I have first and foremost uh, the Google Home. Um, I do all the searches uh, where I do have my news and everything uh, you need from uh, the Google universe. Uh, very neatly integrates into Microsoft Windows. Um, second uh, on that uh, tab is uh, Groove Music, which is the uh, built-in Windows music player. It's not... Uh, it does a job. I mean, it's it's just a tool. It's there. It's free. Um, it does a job, and uh, I use it to play background music when I work. And last but not least, uh, the, the built-in weather app. Uh, sometimes it is quite important to know what the weather will look tomorrow or the day after in whatever part of the world uh, that you're traveling to. And communications, um, I use Discord. Um, this is a uh, kind of like TeamSpeak comes from the from the gaming scene. Um, it's an ability to have uh, voice chats uh, in the background uh, using the uh, the free version. Um, I use Discord for Audrey Ember's channel. Um, highly recommend if you're a, a small creator. I uh, also use it for uh, Cody Warner's channel and uh, of course to uh, stay in contact with my kids. Um, 
other than that, I have uh, Slack on it. Uh, Slack is mainly driven uh, by my clients. Um, everybody uh, under the sun uses Slack, uh, especially in the startup area. So I use the, uh, the Windows 10 version of Slack and subscribe to the various kinds and the various channels. Uh, last but not least, uh, Skype uh, to stay in contact with friends and family. Uh, has a bit of fall into disuse uh, with uh, WhatsApp, on the phone, uh, Slack on the computer, and Discord. Uh, I hardly ever use Skype, but it's uh, still there uh, for all time's sake. Now let's go uh, to create. Um, here are the main tools that I use to actually create stuff, such as this this video. Um, first uh, is Audacity. It's a freeware, or not freeware, it's an open source uh, audio editing tool that I like to uh, post-process uh, any uh, audio recordings I do. Um, then I use a tool which is called Balavolka, which is uh, a Russian freeware that uh, allows you to do uh, Q&As with uh, the computer. Um, it's kind of nice, it basically uh, it can read the questions in whatever computer voice you install. It you know, has uh, an interesting feature where it can do small files one per line so you don't have to cut them afterwards. So um, like I did on the tool with the Twizy, if I want to do a Q&A with myself, so to speak, uh, Balavolka is the tool that I use um, to have my interview partner. Um, video recording, uh, I have a tool for, that's called Debut from, from NCH uh, software. Uh, it's kind of a carryover from my Windows 7 days. So I do know that Windows 10 has a camera that's pretty good and also has an audio recorder that's pretty good. Um, but I bought the software you know, when I was still Windows 7. I'm quite happy with it uh, and uh, yeah, for, for now I'll keep using it. And last but not least, the shortcut. Um, shortcut is uh, my own system or on-premise uh, video editing system. Um, I, I looked at a number of things. Uh, I looked at Premiere, which I think is a bit over the top for, for my abilities. Um, I can't use Final Cut because I'm not a Mac user. Um, KDN Live is a freeware tool and I looked at, uh, but in the end I, I set up a shortcut because it kind of naturally comes, uh, it fits the way I work. Um, but I only do part of my editing on the machine. Um, when I travel, and uh, I said this before, I usually travel with uh, with a Chromebook. Um, then I use uh, the video the, uh, the vid video editor in the cloud. I'm quite happy with it. It does it is compared to Premiere Pro definitely limited, um, it, but it does uh, do a lot more than iMovie does, and uh, it renders in the cloud. So whatever computer you have, um, you get. Crisp uh, 1K or 4K videos uh, out of their their rendering farm in in almost no time. So I'm a bit spoiled um, to get that speed out of a local machine. You probably need something much bigger than what I have currently on my desk. And last but not least, uh, my development app. Um, I use a. Uh, a Unix machine to do to the programming. So to interface to the Unix machine, I use a, a Windows tool it's called Token to Shell. It's not free, um, unlike Putty, which I also use, uh, but it's uh, kind of very convenient. Um, I bought it once when it was almost free for for a couple of cents, um, together with uh, the accompanying X11 server, which they call X14. Um, I'm quite happy with the combo. Uh, it also has a very nice Docker interface built right in. So yeah, it's not freeware, but uh, for development, if you do a lot of work on a Linux console and uh, in the command line, definitely recommend it. Um, yes, once you uh, once you develop, the one thing that you need is a source control vision system. Um, most of the people that I work with use either GitHub or GitLab. Um, so uh, for GitHub, there is a, a Windows desktop that I kind of like. Uh, I also use GitHub to store 
whatever little scripts and utilities I have uh, to make them available um, on the web. So yeah, GitHub, GitLab, it's kind of the uh, de facto standard for version control these days. There's still others, there's CVS, there's SVN, but uh, Git kind of has, uh, has uh, yeah, gotten the crown. Everybody does it now. And GitHub is actually a very cool place to look for um, scripts and, and, and programs and whatever you might need. There's so many people out there who publish their utilities on Git. Um, it's an enormous, enormous treasure trove uh, of code. Uh, last but not least, uh, I guess I do have um, Docker on Windows on my machine. Um, that is, uh, in this day and age, uh, I believe a kind of must. Um, you need to know if you do programming, you need to understand containers. Um, and there's no better way than to run the containers locally. Uh, on this machine, I have Docker for Windows locally, uh, together with uh, Kubernetes orchestration and uh, a wrench front end um, kind of so for me as as a a fake uh, production system where I also can create slides or do tutorials with uh, the thing that's missing that I need to install over the next couple of weeks is Prometheus and, and Grafana so I can have the complete uh, kind of production environment ready um, this is mainly uh, I mean it's a single system so I mainly use this for tutorials when I generate slides and I generate screenshots. So um, I don't use it for, for active development. Um, active developing, I, I have a couple of machines at the, at the Google in the Google Cloud uh, that I bring up if I need them and then um, program from the uh, my Unix machine um, right against the containers uh, on the Google Cloud. Uh, that I can just uh, create and destroy as as I need it. So yeah, basically, I, like like most modern IT departments, I have two sets of system: um, production kind of setup and uh, a dev and test setup. And for me, dev and test is clearly uh, my Unix box, which I'm going to show you uh, one other time. Uh, I hope you liked uh, the short. Uh, Tour de force across uh, my main Windows workhorse. So I hope I could give you some kind of ideas into what tools and utilities I use and what might be beneficial for you. And uh, if you like the video, please do leave a like, uh, a comment, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for staying, and hope to see you in the next one.